hey everyone welcome back so in the previous video we have already completed the super 30 interview questions which are very basic and most important interview questions for the both phrases and experience power bi developer right so if you have not watched that video then please watch that first then continue with this video all right and i have also given the link of that video in the description below so you can check it out from there all right so let's get started with all other most important power bi interview questions and answers so stay tuned and keep watching so remember the questions that we are going to discuss now are very very important and most of the interviewer must ask all these interview questions to the interviewer during the power bi interview process okay so you have to be more focused on these questions and answer all right so the question is can you please explain the steps that you usually follow to publish the power bi report so the answer is to publish the report first of all we have to create our report in power bi desktop then we have to save our report before publishing and after that the most important thing is that we have to log in into our power bi account in power bi desktop by clicking on the sign in option all right and after that click on this publish button or you can go to file and then go to publish button and click on it then it will ask for the destination where you want to publish the report it means in which workplace you want to publish your report by default it is my workspace but if you want to create one new workplace then log in into your power bi account by google then go to my workplace and create a new one then come to power bi desktop and click on the publish button then it will reflect the new workspace that you have created okay then click on it then select that workspace then click on enter and after that the report will be published into the power bi server okay so in this way we publish the report that we have created in power bi desktop on power bi server okay then the next question is can you please explain the steps that you usually follow to create a dashboard in power bi so the answer is usually we create a power bi dashboard in the server level not in the power bi desktop level right so to create a dashboard first of all we have to publish our report in the server and once we publish it in the server just click on the report that we have published then move your pointer on the different charts of the report you will see a pin icon on each wizard so first decide to which chart you want to add in your dashboard then click on the pin icon of the wizard and add it in the dashboard so if you don't have any dashboard before then create a new dashboard and add that chart or wizard to that particular dashboard okay by clicking on the pin icon all right so in this way we create a dashboard in power bi right then the next question is how you share the power bi dashboard with other team members or with the client can you please explain with that so the answer is after creating the dashboard in the server level we will get a share option on the top bar of the page just click on that icon and add the email over there with whom you want to share that particular report or you can click on the file option and export the report in power bi or you can click on the file option and export the report in pbix format or that may be in powerpoint pdf print or you can publish it in the web by the url as well and you can easily share it with any other okay so in this way you can share your power bi dashboard or the report with any of the client or any of the 
50 members okay then the next question arises here is can you please explain the difference between the power bi report and power bi dashboard so this is one of the most important questions that every interviewer must ask to you during the interview process okay so the difference is that we can create a power bi dashboard in the server level but not in the desktop level okay this is in case of power bi dashboard in the other hand we can create the power bi report in the power bi desktop level okay so this is the first difference between the power bi dashboard and report okay then the next point is to create a power bi dashboard we need only one page but in case of report we need one or it may be more number of pages all right then the third difference is filter option is not available on the dashboard level but in case of report we can do filter on the data okay so this is the third difference then the next difference is in case of dashboard we can set alert message but in case of report we cannot set any alert message then the last difference is natural level query is available in case of dashboard level but not in the report level right so these are the few of the difference between the power bi dashboard and power bi report okay then the next question is once you publish the report in the server level how you refresh that report this is also one of the most important questions okay so be careful for this so the answer is the report that we have published in the server can be refreshed by two way first is manually so how can you do the refresh of a report manually let's see so to refresh the published report manually first of all we have to go to my workspace then go to the data set of the published report and click on the refresh icon over there then if it is for the first time then it will ask you for installing the gateway if the data set contain on premises data okay then install the gateway and click on the refresh icon again to refresh the report manually so this is the first option to refresh your report that you have published in the server right then the second process to refresh your published report is by applying the scheduling refresh so how we can do that that can be done by go to my workspace then click on the data set of the report where you want to apply the scheduler then go to the action tab then click on the three dots over there and go to the setting okay then click on the schedule to refresh and then keep your data up to date on then choose the refresh frequency that may be daily weekly or monthly as per your requirement and then add the time when you want to refresh your report then click on apply okay and your schedule refresh is done so in this two way we basically refresh our published report in power bi server okay so these are the two methods to refresh our report that we have published in the power bi server okay then the next question is how to set alert message in power bi so the answer is to set a alert message in power bi first of all go to my workspace then go to the dashboard that you have created before because alert message can be set on the dashboard only okay then click on the three dots on the visual in which chart you want to put the alert message in the dashboard okay then click on the manage alert and add the alert rule and write the message then give the condition and then add the notification frequency and give the tick mark on the send me mail to option and after that save and close so in this way we apply the alert message in power bi okay